Welcome guys, we have a question in biology under the topic of genetics. And, uh, the question reads, figure 5 shows blood group phenotypes for a mother and her two children. Now before we start answering, we have to remember that there are three alleles that controls the blood groups and these are known as the multiple alleles. So these are ABO alleles. Now, let's look at the first point so the first point is a condition of AA so this one is known as homozygous since we have the same letters so this is homozygous blood group A then the other point that you, you must you must master on this one is that homozygous blood group A cannot have blood group O so this is not possible then the second one we have AO. So this one is called heterozygous for blood group since we have two different letters. So whenever you see two different letters, then you have the heterozygous. And then the other thing is whenever O is found with A, then O is considered to be recessive. Then if O is recessive, then A is dominant. That's why this person will be considered to have blood group O even if he or she is a carrier for blood group O. Uh, o. Then we move on to BB. So this one is also homozygous. So homozygous for blood group B. Then this person cannot also have blood group O. Oh, it's impossible now what of BO so BO is also known as heterozygous now this is heterozygous for blood group B now under this one the same pattern O will be recessive B is dominant so whenever O is found with A or B then it is recessive now we move on to the codominant situation. What happens if A is found with B? Remember, A is dominant, B is also dominant. So what happens in a case where the two letters are all dominant? So we have a condition that we call a codominant. So a codominance is a situation where two characteristics are expressed at the same time. Now, the other note, apart from knowing that these are codominance, the other point that you have to master is that AB cannot have blood group O. So, that is impossible. So, it's impossible for AB to have blood group O. Then we move on to the other point. So, the other point is blood group O. So, for someone to have blood group O, the O should always exist in homozygous. So we can't have blood group O in heterozygous condition. So that's not possible. So this is what we are saying. So this is homozygous blood group O. Well, the point is, if the question states that a person has blood group O, just know that you are going to use these two letters. Then the other thing for blood group O, blood group O cannot have a child who is blood group AB. So to summarize our work, AA cannot have blood group O. BB cannot have blood group O. AB cannot have blood group O. Then O cannot have blood group AB. So these are some of the notes that I wanted to share with you. Now, after that, let's go to the first question. So the first question is, from figure 5, uh, deduce the genotypes for the father and mother. So let's now go back. So this is where the father is. So father blood group unknown we don't know the blood group of the father now what of the mother the mother we are told it's blood group a now 
we don't know if we are going to have AA or AO. We are just told blood group uh, A. Now, how can we identify between the two? Which one are we going to use? So we need to look at the offspring. So the offspring, there is a son who has a blood group O. So as long as, as long as there is, there is a child with blood group O, then the mother, since we are told there is A, the mother must have a O. There should be O in that. So that's a key point. Meaning for them to have a child who is uh, who has a blood group O, then the two must at least have one letter O in each genotype. Now, if this is the case, what of the father? It's unknown. Let's go to the other child. So the other child, the daughter, has blood group B. So we have, we have said that in the mother, we cannot have BA because we know that BA cannot have blood group O. So this B is coming from here. So he, in, in the father, there should be a B so that whenever we put O here, then we have this chance now of having a child with blood group O. So that's what you are supposed to do. Now we move on to question B. The daughter got married and a child and had a child with blood group AB. Okay. What was the blood group phenotype of the husband? So let's go back to to the genotype C for the daughter. So daughter, it's blood group B. Now for if the this one is blood group B, are we going to have BB or are we going to have BO? So we can see that we are going to have it's BO. We cannot have BB since the genotype C of the two parents are not allowing for BB to be produced. So we know that the daughter is BO. So if the daughter is BO, now how can such a genotype produce a child with blood group uh, AB? So the point is uh, from the genotype of the daughter. So the daughter is contributing B. So the husband must have the A, this A. So this B is coming from the this daughter. So this A is coming from the, the husband of the daughter. So the husband can have A, A. We, we can still have the answer. A, O, we can still have the answer. Even A, B, we can still have the answer. So all these three are the ch chances or genotypes that we can assign to the husband. So that's a point. So that's a point. So the key point is at least see, there should be a letter A. Right. We move on to now question C. Now question C, we are told the father divorced the wife and married another woman with blood group B. And their first child had blood group O. With the help of a genetic diagram, explain how this was possible. So let's begin with the parental phenotype. Now for the father, the genotypes of the father should do, just be the same. The husband just divorced. But the blood group of the husband did not change. So we are going to use the same. So under the, the father for, the, for this party, phenotype will say blood group B. So blood group B. Now, what we want is now for this new wife. What is the... What is the phenotype for this new wife? So what will help us to, 
to give us the picture of this one. So you need to look at uh, this point. Married another woman with blood group what? B. So the woman we are told is blood group B. Right? So let's move on to parental genotype. So under parental genotype, for the husband, we know it's B.O. Now, what of this new wife? This new wife will also be B.O. Why are we saying should have a O? Because they had a child with blood group O. So we need at least O. -O. So that's where the key point is coming from. Right, then from there, we are going to look at now parental gametes. So we just have to separate these. Then after this, we move on to random fertilization. Right, then we can start our crossing. Okay, so there is a chance of having homozygous for blood group O. Heterozygous, blood group B. Uh, heterozygous for blood group B. Then homozygous for blood group O. So because of this, this now shows us the chance of having this uh, child with blood group O. So that's what we do. So these are, we we'll say, genotype of F1, which is the first video generation. So this is how we can answer this question. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.